in the Way 31 Storm Tracker Weather Center. Meteorologist Kate Lerchetta. Well, Kate said it was going to be raining throughout much of the week, and uh, well, lo and behold, here it is. Yeah, we got a little brief period of sunshine yesterday, and that was it. We got the gray sky back with us, and we got the rain back with us as well. Let me show you what it looks like across Huntsville. Well, you can't see Huntsville because the clouds are in the way. 45 degrees currently, relative humidity, as you would expect with the rain falling. It's high. Wind out of the east southeast at nine miles per hour. And that's helping slowly push up those temperatures, even with all the cloud cover in place. Uh, we're going to top out very close to 50 degrees this afternoon. Speaking of all that cloud cover, here's the rain that I was just mentioning. It is tracking toward the east. It's moving about 30 miles per hour. Most widespread now along and east of I-65, west of I-65, getting a little bit of a break here through Lauderdale County. But I've noticed that, at least earlier this morning, the data from the Columbus radar site has gone down, so we're not receiving data. That's likely impacting our view there of the shoals just a tad. Most locations I also checked in on how much we've already picked up. I saw Huntsville as far as measurable rain, still about a tenth of an inch so far out of what's been falling, and we're on track to see at most half an inch of rain today. As we go through the next several hours, bands of that moderate rain still moving through from time to time. Here's 1 o'clock this afternoon. Now continue to watch this through about 3 o'clock. By 3, now to 4, the moderate rain is pushed out of the area. And we'll just see these spotty light showers off and on through the rest of the evening and through the rest of tonight. I still expect roads to be wet through your evening drive. There's 5 o'clock. And continuing through 7, 8, 9, it's just more of the same. By early tomorrow morning, though, we really get rid of most of the showers. We'll still hold on to the cloud cover. And then we begin another uh, progression of another big system that comes through. So by 10 o'clock tomorrow night, Friday night plans should be okay. Temperatures aren't terribly cold, but it will be cloudy and a little bit uh, dreary in that capacity. Through tomorrow night into early Saturday morning, we start with just scattered showers, but that builds in intensity. It builds in coverage, and here's that heavy rain, the band that sets up from the southwest toward the northeast right through the shoals by noon on Saturday. That band of rain, that's coming in just in advance of the cold front, and it tracks eastward by 6 o'clock Saturday evening. There it is smack dab over Sand Mountain, and behind that, it's not drying out. Immediately, we'll still have some moisture left over as those temperatures really start to drop, and they drop quickly. The wind is going to pick up, and we'll even hear a couple rumbles of thunder before everything is said and done when that heavier rain is moving through with the cold front. Now, here's the interesting part. By midnight, we get the potential, at least, for a brief period of some scattered snow showers. It's important to remember, though, that that colder air as it works in, it's also bringing in drier air, and that's really going to limit the snow potential. You can see that there's not a lot to be had here by 4 o'clock Sunday morning. Our northernmost counties see the best chance at even seeing a few snowflakes, but accumulating snow is just really not in the cards for us early Sunday. What is very likely is that cold air that's going to be in place, and it is going to keep things frigid on Sunday. The wind and the chill because of the wind. It's going to feel like single digits and teens for most of the day and into Sunday night, Monday morning. There's your 90% chance of rain on Saturday, and there's that big shock to the system. 62 degrees, our high temperature Saturday. The high on Sunday, 35 degrees. In between, yeah, we do get to 31, so that will be cold enough, at least we're seeing the potential for some snowflakes. And then just straight up cold anyway, slice at 20 degrees there by Monday morning. Now, as far as snowfall chances go, I told you that there's that chance accumulating snow at most a tenth of an inch. That's really barely a dusting. So we're keeping an eye on it. If we have any changes to that, we'll pass that along to you.